How about that for tape? I'm at Eleanor Trout Fishery, one of my favourite small waters. It's actually verging on a big small water. It's quite big. Not sure how many acres actually, but it's not small, but it is classed as a small water. Probably one of the best in the country. Run by Ed Foster, Palamine. Really nice lake great in the winter and the spring and the autumn tends to go off a little bit in the summer if it gets too warm it's only a shallow lake but what a great spot fabulous take from that fish nailed it only a tiddler but giving a good account of itself I'm only using a fairly short leader here in a single fly because it's windy just to reduce the risk of tangles. Come on fish, that's it. Easy peasy. Right now then, there's the fly. Wriggle straight out. One of my favourite patterns. Olive and black tadpole. Especially good in the spring for these cold water fish. They love it. I don't know what they think it is, but some kind of damsel or a fish or it imitates all sorts of foodie items. Anyway, we'll give it another go. Pretty vicious pull, just slightly lengthen the leader and put a flush sided dowel back on the dropper. It's taking the point fly again, black and green tadpole, favourite fly on here, favourite fly everywhere. Just slide him in, nothing massive great fun typical Eleanor stocking Because of this wind, I'm having to do a switch spade cast. It's better. Or a switch roll cast. Great takes. It's the only way to get the flies out to where the fish are and they're not that far out so you don't need to be casting 30 yards. No idea how I missed that. No idea. Must have just grabbed hold of the tail. It's worth carrying on, trickling. So I know I'm 
fairly close in now but that, those flies are still trickling towards the ledge and the, these fish in these types of lakes often patrol up and down the ledge looking for food so it's worth fishing it all the way back in be amazed how many times a fish is still following when you're lifting off to the next cast the thing about these well stocked lakes and this is a great example of it Eleanor trout fishery is a fantastic example of a well stocked well run gin clear lake full of fish and you know you're gonna get you're gonna get your string pulled at places like this it's great fun I mean I've had eight fish I think now and probably missed three or four dropped a couple so there's another one it's great fun that fish was come on never mind like I was saying you may not catch loads and loads of fish but you're going to get your string pulled there's another one goodness me there's plenty of fish here great pulls predictable now as well where they're going to take up on the drift around they're typically taking about a third of the way around them. I wasn't paying attention. I'll get him this time. It was gradually going tighter and tighter in my hand and I don't know how I missed it. Another one. I think that's. I think I've probably caught. I don't know. Eleven or twelve now. I'm going to leave this spot in a minute. Let somebody else have a go. I haven't even touched this fish. Hook came out in the net. <laughs> Didn't want to swim off though. Go on. There he goes. <laughs> it was always going to happen. Yeah. I'm stood in the water now, so I'm probably not going to need the net. I'll just grab hold of it. Barbless fly. Uh, nice. And it's, ooh, it's cold. That is cold. It's a nice fish. Okay, I'm going to have to let go of him. <laughs> He's got a second wind. Okay, what a chunk. Yeah, <laughs> that's, a, that's a real chunk, it's like a bream. 
Beautiful fish. Back he goes. He got him. He got me, actually. <laughs> That's my friend Nigel Woolner, who's doing a bit of tiddler bashing here on Eleanor. <laughs> Well done, mate. Loving your work. Oh, there's a fish. I think I was more surprised than he was. <laughs> Tiddler. Still beautiful fish though. That's that's a that's a very pretty rainbow in any in any anybody's book. Easy for me to say. Look at that, gorgeous. Very pretty. So I'm here with Ed Foster, who is the fishery manager owner at Eleanor. Uh -huh. Hi Ed, how are you doing? All right, thanks Nick. Yeah, cracking it's, day for the middle of February. It's absolutely amazing. It's warmed up a little bit. Yeah. Water's still cold. Yeah. The fish are still are pulling. The fish yeah. are pulling. They're dotted about everywhere, which is nice. They can be tightly shoaled early season, but at the moment, as you can see, you're up in shallow bay, you're fishing three foot of water. And yeah. Pulling. Yeah. So I've had, I don't know, 15 or 16 fish now. And you were late in, here. Yeah, I was late. <laughs> yes, yes, that was true. Yes. Sorry about that, Ed. <laughs> We were expecting me a bit earlier, but uh, this wind's challenging some days on here, but mostly you can cope. There's loads of bank to go and fish, uh, and there's fish all around, yeah? Yeah, we've got a mile and a half of bank, and I would say three quarters of it is holding fish, so uh, yeah. everybody's got a chance. Yeah. A little bit more challenging today, because you've got clear water, sun and wind, and it just pushes them out and makes them a little bit trickier, but yeah. as soon as it clouds over, if the wind drops, it can go. Well, I've caught all my fish in the sun. Yeah. So I'm fishing a floating line, a gold head on the dropper, on the point, yeah. and a, a small nymph on the dropper, and right. they've all pretty much taken the gold head on the point. Yeah. But early season, you'd expect that. But I notice you're fishing it slow. You're not ripping I'm, it back. I'm when fishing it. Going wrong. I'm fishing yeah. it almost static. Yeah. 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 Two froths and this would freeze over again. You, you know, reckon? The water is that cold. Three yeah. Degrees, so. yeah. 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 It feels it on your on your legs yeah. when you're in it. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, we're an old gravel pit, even though it doesn't look like a gravel pit. Uh, it's matured. It was dug out in 69-70. It's been a trout fishery since 71. I've run it since 89, mm. uh, so 30 years this year. Wow. So, uh, yeah. We need a party. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, great. So, Thanks, Ed. That's okay. great. Thanks for that bit of, uh, bit of history. I'll carry on fishing, see if I can get in a, a few more pulls. Okay. All right. See, see you later, bud. Bye. That's a feisty one. Oh, off he goes. Perfect. Never touch the fish. Looks like a nice fish. I'm back on this jetty now. The disabled boat pontoon. Caught a few fish in other spots. But thought I'd come back here for the last few casts before home time. And they're still here. And they're still pulling. Good old reliable Eleanor fish. Look at that beautiful sunset, or nearly a sunset. Gorgeous. about just gone four. Here he comes. Nice fish. Very nice fish. Right. That is a proper Eleanor trout.
gorgeous.